Hello my friends, it's Bruns here, welcome back to the channel and today we are talking about best builds for the current state of the game. Whilst the game has launched to great praise from some, looking really polished and with great and refreshing gameplay aspects, as time has passed we saw a lot of cracks showing. Don't get me wrong, the game is all I play and the only reason for that is because I really love how much work and love the devs themselves have put into this. However, you can't ignore how buggy some aspects of the game are and whilst for the first few weeks after launch the patches have been quick and hard to drop in, some elements of the game are still completely broken. From perks that don't proc to animation problems, the amount of bugs this game currently has is quite staggering. With that in mind, as it stands, you want to avoid some perks and some builds in some characters. And whilst I recognize there are several issues with some victims' perks, the victims' abilities are pretty much bug-free, save for some odd tracking in Sony's ability. Today we'll be focusing on family and what the issues are that are holding back some specific characters from really shining in the game. But first, if you're new to the channel, please drop me a like, consider subscribing for more videos like this and also join the channel for more perks such as shout outs, highlights in the comments and more. So let's start with Letterface. Letterface is actually one of the most solid characters in the game. He can one shot victims and his perks all proc whenever he needs. I don't see many interaction issues between the perks or even when used individually. He's got some terrible perks. I'm looking at you bringing home the bacon. But other than that, perk wise, it's all a matter of choice. The best parts on the tree will be going right to grab scout if you want your build to have more speed or go left if you want to go for more damage with perks such as big swings. Personally, I don't rate big swings that much as it only grants you with 15% more damage. Anywhere on his tree you can get via land which is one of his random perks and that will give you an extra 20% damage once your blood vial is full. This perk is pretty much meta across the board and all characters and you'll see more about this later. You can still try and get hysterical which is another random perk for an extra 20% damage if you're below 15% stamina. However, the whole stamina build with Letterface can be a little bit of a gamble and very situational as he doesn't really use stamina for his attacks. It's all a matter of playstyle. If you guys want to know which perks are random in Letterface and all other characters, I'm going to drop a link here right at the top right corner of the screen with a video I made on how to get max attribute points on each character and which are all the random perks they can get. Now, in terms of bugs, the worst thing about Letterface at the moment is the stalling of the chainsaw during Grandpa Awakening scene. It probably happens in 60% of the games I play and boy is it annoying. It kind of forces you to go for level 3 middle ability which gets you to start your chainsaw instantly. Speaking of his ability tree, the best choices as it stands to ensure you don't stop with every revving attack is to go level 1 left, level 2 middle and level 3 middle which will instantly activate your chainsaw. So level 2 middle ability will ensure that after every rev attack you can continue to attack and finish off your victims. Currently I'm running letter face with scout, violent and surgical. The only reason I'm putting surgical on is if I'm damaging victims that will help me fill up my blood vial quicker but if you kill one which is likely then you'll be full and surgical loses its usage. I will put an extra 10 APs on his savagery and then the rest in his endurance. Moving on to Cook, he's probably the most consistent and bug free character and that's why Cook is the best family member to have in a match. His padlocks are extremely helpful and can really narrow down the victim choices. Also the virtual lack of cooldown with his ability makes it spamming it the easiest way to pinpoint victims for your teammates to finish them off. I haven't come across any animation bugs with Cook and his perks also don't seem to have any interaction issues. The best builds for Cook are going up which will make you a blood runner if at the end you go left and get universal donor. He can also get scout then which will give him a speed boost at the cost of some damage and if you go straight up but left halfway through you can get to security pin which will increase the difficulty to lockpick his padlocks. On his ability tree, you can really take your pick on the first two levels, but it is essential that level three, you pick right side, so the victims that you hear are shown to teammates as well. If you keep pinpointing them, then the timer of their highlight will increase, so you can really spam them on victims to ensure that they are showing to your teammates during traces for a long time. On my current build, I am using Scout, Universal Donor, and Violent, but I tend to swap Violent with Blood Runner, if I'm in gas station for instance, so that I can run for longer before running out of stamina. Also having an extra 12 AP in blood harvesting will ensure I'm getting 35 blood points per bucket, so every 3 full buckets I can feed grandpa a level. When it comes to Hitchhiker, he's another solid pick for the family and one of the reasons for that is because he's virtually bug free. His traps are still bugged by the ladders, but the workaround the devs have found at the moment is to prevent players from placing the traps in such 
areas. It is a poor solution to a bug that had become a favorite family tactic to restrict the victim's movement. So I think they need to still revisit this in the future. In terms of his perks, they also all seem to be working well. And the obvious choices here are to make Hitchhiker excel at chasing by going right on his ability tree to equip Wireframe together with Fire Up and Scout, which is a random perk so you can get that anywhere on his tree. Another alternative is to go up or left on his tree to get Venom, which can nicely stack with his level 3 right ability. But more about that in a second. Add Violent, which is a random perk, to his build and you're in for a high damage Hitchhiker with still some potential for chasing. Talking about his ability tree, it depends what the build you're going for. For a high damage build, your right level 3 ability stacks with Venom to continue to deal damage over time after they have been trapped. But if you want to highlight the victims that are snared to all family, then go left level 3 ability. However, I would only use that on solo queue. If you are in a team with comms, then you normally know where the traps are being set. And if you have good headphones, you can tell the direction the noise of the snaring is coming from. But left side ability becomes superfluous. Instead, I will go for right side level 3 ability to continue to deal damage over time. And because the levels of the abilities don't stack, what I'll probably do here once I'm level 3 is go level 1 left, and then I'll go middle, and then I'll finish this off with right level 3. For my current build, I am using Venom, Violent, and Scout, so there is a bit of everything here for a good chase and also high damage, so quite balanced. I have only 3 extra AP on his blood harvesting, and that will grant me with exact 100 blood points, so if I need to feed Grandpa, I will level him up straight away. Now the last two family members, this is where things get a bit trickier. They have the lowest pick rates and also suffer from a huge amount of bugs. They are definitely the weakest of the bunch. First, Johnny. He has flaws in his design which make me think he wasn't finished or given the same love as some of the other characters. To start with, he's the only family member to have only one unique perk, patience, and a completely useless one where standing still will reduce his ability consumption rate by 40%. I mean, really, is that the best unique perk that you could have come up for him? All the other family members have at least two unique perks, like Hitchhiker and Cook, and they're all quite essential. You also can't go through narrow gaps or cross spaces, which really makes me think Johnny was poorly thought out and he's almost like a filler character. I'm not saying he's terrible, just not as polished in his design as some of the others. To perhaps counteract the bad design, Johnny has the potential to roll the largest amount of random perks whichever way you go on his tree and he has the best perks as random in-game, such as Serrated, Universal Donor, and Scout. That means the obvious choice on his tree is to go right, left, right, and then either way to ensure you get 30 attribute points, which is the max number of attribute points you can get on him. They can also grant you with the three random perks mentioned above. In terms of his ability tree, the best choice in my opinion is to go left on level 3 ability. It will reduce the time it takes to analyze victims' tracks by 50%, enabling you to stay in the game for longer and not be locked into an animation during it. You could go middle level 3 ability to be able to discern if the tracks are fresh or not, but I don't think that makes a huge difference to the chase, and I prefer to be chasing for longer rather than know how long has it been since someone has passed by. On level 1 and 2, I don't think whichever way makes a huge difference. My current build with him consists of Serrated, Universal Donor, and Scout. If you don't want to do blood runs with him, you could switch Universal Donor by Fired Up to ensure he's always got stamina to stay on chase. Now Sissy. On game launch, Sissy was completely busted, and once she had Rubber Legs, Spore Loser, and Special Blend equipped, it meant she could go on a killing spree due to an issue that caused her to constantly apply poison on victims, bringing the speed down to a halt so they couldn't escape. Long gone are those days and Sissy now is actually a bottom tier family member, but mostly because her kit is still broken, but in a bad way. To start with, one of her best perks, Efficient Herbalist, which allows you to poison objects in game, doesn't actually do more than create the drunk effects on victims. Even if you choose her level 3 middle ability that causes poison damage over time, this perk will not cause the damage over time if they get poisoned. It won't even mark victims that are poisoned like her cloud does. I don't know if this is intended or not, but this makes this perk a complete waste of time and only useful to farm some XP. If you go left on her tree, you could get Violent and then Rubber Legs or Linger if you are into Area Denial Strat, or go straight up to get Serrated. Both ways you can get Spore Loser, although apparently there is also a bug on Spore Loser which will cause it not to proc even after its cooldown. Also since the nerf to Bone Scraps, you might not be using Spore Loser that much. You could go right, however, to be able to run blood more efficiently and get some endurance perks like Scout and also Fired Up. But I wouldn't go for Herbalist at the end. 
instead going right to get hysterical strength, which you are more likely to proc on attacks to victims. You will be missing Violent, however. To make matters worse, her right side level 1 and 2 ability tree is worthless, as the animation for Ida takes exactly the same time. Although the animation timer shows that the animation should finish earlier than it actually does. That means your only choices are to go either left or middle in her ability tree, so it's a choice of do you want the poison cloud to last longer or for the victims to be damaged for longer. If you choose to keep victims poisoned for longer, then rubber legs can be a good choice to help you slow them down during chase. My build here at the moment is sitting with Scout, Fired Up and Universal Donor, so same as Journey. You could swap either Fired Up or Scout with Hysterical Strength for the extra damage once you are below 15% stamina. Do I think this is the best build you can get with her? Probably not, but it's a decent option. I did run a lot of builds with Linger the other day and once that's level 3, the area over her poison is 3 meters wider in diameter, which is a massive cloud, and it can really help on some open areas chases. Okay, so that's all the family members. You can see that some perks are prevalent here across the board and you can use them with most family members such as Scout, Pirate Up and Violent. They are so meta. But someone wrote something in one of the comments the other day that they would like to see the devs buffing up non-meta perks to try and improve their pick rates. This is supposed to be a casual game after all and at the moment I think the matches albeit fun can be really sweaty especially for family side where teamwork is so essential. As you guys know I have more hours as victim than family actually and I definitely feel solo queue is easier for victims than for family. But what do you guys think? How can the devs make the game better? I'd love to hear your opinions. If you watched until now, please hit that like button, subscribe and join. Thanks for all the members of the channel for making these videos possible. You guys are amazing. Also join our discord for the chance to play with us or against us and team up with like-minded people. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.